I'm the dude. Listen, I'm the dude that's speaking for the army dude, the blind dude. Right? We got the one dude hit uh, strapping in the eye, so he can't see. They got me doing the play by play for him. So you know, yeah. Oh, it's about to get real. Oh, oh, oh LeBron, LeBron, LeBron. Oh, LeBron just. That. So you know, I'm you know the personality. All so right, you have fun. Now you, 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 hey, nah, you got to stand up. The, the the dunk I just seen, you got to stand up for. He was standing. The blind guy standing. <laughs> so like, I'm really like, I'm really playing my part as an American. <laughs> Welcome back to the Pat Bev Pod with Roan. We're continuing on our onslaught of heavy hitter guests going on right now. This is one of the most interesting creatures that has ever graced the NBA hardwood. You might know him as Agent Zero, but he's known as a lot of things. And he got it hot from a lot of places. A career 20 point per game scorer. A three-time mm. All-Star, a three-time mm. All-NBA selection, the man himself, Mr. Gilbert Arenas. Welcome to the mm. show, sir. What's up? Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir. Happy to happy to have you in here. A, an absolute pleasure. Um, I don't know how well you and Pat know each other, but we'll definitely get to know one another a little bit better over the next, uh, you know, half hour, 45, whatever it may be. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, let's um, let's go ahead. Let's get the bullshit out the way real quick. Uh-huh. Y'all did, y'all did a take about uh the comment uh Car Anthony Towns made. Yeah, you got uh who's the um who's the ball head guy? What's his name? Rashad McCants. Right. No. No. Okay. So you have Rashad McCants, Brandon Jos- Johnson, Josiah Johnson. Okay, so first off, Kenya Martin. Okay, so the 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 the, the cat, the cat take. Uh huh. Did, did you guys actually watch the pod, or you guys watch clips of the pod? They just showed us the clips. So, okay, so that's why your answer was kind of uh, ignorant. Okay, probably, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, because the take was, was ignorant. The ta- yeah, the take, ignorant. Because, the, because the, if you listen to the pod, the pod spoke about how we got together team-wise camaraderie, mm-hmm. not about the success we had on the basketball court and where that took at us to a play in chance. The 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 art the, the 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 question was camaraderie, a team that's that hasn't made the playoffs in 17 years or mm-hmm. whatever years it is, we coming together in three months, us not knowing each other, us getting it off the rip, brand new coach brand new system out there like mm-hmm. that was the argument so and did Rashad McCants ever tell you his history with me nah nah very interesting oh. I made him quit <laughs> wait, wait what yeah we, we tried out for the Lakers uh, early in my career and it was just me and him in a workout he quit it oh man so anything he says I can't take anything Oh, I got, I'm gonna put that in my notes. I'm no, gonna put no, that in my notes. No, no, it's gonna go viral after we done here. That's how this shit go here. Brandon Jennings. Uh huh. Okay. Just gonna leave it right there. <laughs> so yeah, half your crew I done ran through already. So like, I, they they voice and like opinions. I really can't really motherfucker that quit. I really can't honor shit he say. So okay, now we cool. Okay. Now we get to the five, boys. Get yeah, I'm cool chest okay. Okay, I'm cool now. Let me cross my leg. I'm in London right now, too, bro. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. Pat right, came yeah, in okay. on the warpath, dude. He's off the right. early right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rest the beast the queen. Okay. I see. There we go. Yeah. Regardless, though, yeah, right. we're, 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 we are still happy to have you on the show. Uh, but uh, the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I want to know. I want to know uh, as as you heard uh, those takes uh, last week, as we had Carl Anthony Towns on this very show. Uh, I want to know, uh, Gil, what your thoughts are now that you know the context and kind of what your perception of what he said was. Because I think you said it was kind of ridiculous that he thought that he would be uh, 
remembered as someone who changed the game and you wondered to yourself, you were like, was I like that when I was a player? Like, was I, did I have that uh, uh, self-confidence in myself? No, we, we, I mean, listen, to be great, to be, to be at that next level, it is all confidence, right? It has nothing to do with, everyone has skill, everyone has talent, right? The, the things that separate everyone is the confidence, the, the, the thought process, the mindset of how we look at situations, how we go into situations. So, you know, him saying it and I'm, and I'm laughing at it, but then I had a way like, nah, I was probably on that shit too, right? I was probably on that. I thought I was better than uh, Cole at some point. So I didn't even think Steve Nash was in the same category as me. Like that homeboy can't guard me. Every time he even think about guarding me, let's run it, right? Any, if you ever see us play, you think about guarding me, I'm coming at you. You better put Raja Bell or the Matrix on me because you have no chance. But that's that, that's how, that's what brings out the greatness of players. So even though I'm going to make my jokes, I, I really understand where he's coming from, but I still got to make my takes. You know what I mean? Yeah. 100%. 23 and 11. Yeah. <laughs> Career, but, but you know, you know, no one looks over. No one looks over there. No, no you know, there's, there's just there's just teams that nobody really pays attention to. Respect. So you yeah. know, there's gonna be a kill over there. We just be like, the only time we see him is if he's going against another marquee yeah. name, and that one game is how we really judge, right? I mean, we have Jokic, two time, you know, MVP. No one gives a fuck. We don't care. Right. Right. Okay, yeah, dude, dude, dude is over there, dude, doing dude, right? <laughs> right? We know MB. So we'll be like, oh yeah, MB, uh, you know, we have um we got Giannis. You know, we see that every night. And then when they go against Joker, you know, they whoop his ass, then that's all we know. Oh yeah, he he's he's trash. We don't really pay attention to him. And then when you start really looking at him, like, oh no, nah, he all he all right. Yeah. That's what happens with Cat. We don't really see him like that. You know what I mean? We don't really see him. So, but when you look at his number, like, oh, okay, maybe he's saying some shit that we ain't even paying attention to. Well, respect. So you think that it's there's some markets where it kind of you lose your ability to have a foothold in the NBA narrative just because it's almost like an out of sight, out of mind thing? Yeah, listen, 20, 23 and 11 in a big market, you a superstar. 23 and 11 in a small market, no matter what your team is, no one, no one really cares, right? Um, it's like you have to do damn near 30 and 14 to get the same respect. You know, it's no different than when Russell was in Westbrook. He had to average a triple double for even for everyone to even say his name. You know, it's just it's just like that. Mm. That's, that's what frustrates the shit out of players because when we look at our numbers and we we'll be like, yo, I'm doing the same thing dude is doing over there. We in a better situation in a better, we got a better team. I done bust his ass, but he keeps getting put higher than me. It's just a market. Yeah. Yeah. So what I do you with that. what what do you think the cities are that like matter? What do you think the cities are where people can get a fair shake? Was it uh DC? Um, you know, is it is it East Coast? Is it is it uh just anywhere where there's is it a population base or is it like the bay where it's based on the success of where you've uh where the team that's been successful? More big cities. Right. You know, you're going to say, you know, Chicago, L.A., New York, Miami, D.C., Boston. And then from there, um, you go. Tech, you're going to go Bay Area now. I mean, you're going to go San Francisco now, Bay Area. Um, no, Toronto. No, I, mean, Dallas. I mean, Dallas, Toronto. Yeah. Um, I mean, Miami, people probably want to be in Miami. Yeah, Miami. yeah Miami's like six best. Um, but once you start getting to like the bottom, like, you know, Minnesota, the M's, Minnesota, Milwaukee, Memphis. Um, you know, you, you start the Michigan, you start getting to those teams, you'd be like, you got to do <laughs> the M's. Yeah. The M's, you got to do extras. <laughs> you got to do extras. <laughs> Bro, they should have a higher, a little bit higher salary cap than for those places. You know what I mean? Like they should have like a little infusion of cash or something like that where they can, you know, it would behoove those teams or uh, free agents to go to those teams rather than these big markets where, you know, they're going to. I don't know. You have to have a, you know, like if you're in a small market, you have to have like very great marketing around your players individually um, as a team. 
You have to have the red carpet treatment for the players, right? Give them something that the big cities can't, right? Like, mm-hmm. I, I, I was like, man, all, all the billions you guys make and all the real estate you guys own, how come none of you guys have built condos and your first year, your first four year players and them rookie, you know, them rookie deals, they stay there for free, right? All amenities taken care of. That means that player ain't got to pay no money, you know, because it's going to take first a couple of years to le- learn how to be an adult. You don't know nothing about like you coming out of, you know, college one year, two years away from moms, away from dad. You don't know how to take care of yourself. And now you got all this money. You're going to buy everything that you dreamed of if you can. Right. So you take that element out. Hey, you guys, here's a free place. You got your cars. You got your um, your amenities paid for. And all you guys have to do is just play. Just play basketball. Work on your basketball skill for the next four years. Once you get your big contract going on your own. I think there should be housing setups like that. Like if I was an owner, my first year four players, all y'all going to do is just play basketball. Y'all ain't got to worry about no expense, especially when it comes to housing, food, and all that stuff. Well, you have a lot of motherfuckers want to play for you. I'll tell you that. See, there you go. Right? Everybody going to be good drafted at, you know what I mean? And that's, yeah. that's real. Uh, like, this, is, this is some real shit. Besides Dallas, the first, the, shit, not even that, the first team I got food from as a road team, Cleveland with LeBron. Y'all didn't get food? No. Oh, there was no food. You know, we had the Gatorade bars. I'm 2001, bro. The Gatorade bars is all we got on the road, you right? Them shits at halftime. Yeah. LeBron James, I remember we I remember coming in, boom, came in, right? Lost. Nigga. Ooh-wee, what's this? Right, spread. I'm like, oh, coach, what? Damn, thank y'all. It's like, this ain't from us, this from over there. And I'm looking at, I mean, straight, straight man, straight everything. And I'm like, this what they own? And I'm thinking like, what are they eating over there? If this is what we got, if this is what we got, what they eating over there? Man, I, when we went back home, I hey. was, I went to the owner and said, hey, man, listen. <laughs> they give him food for the road. We need, wait, can we get a chef here? A chef, breakfast, lunch, something? Hey, that's why the, that's why the older the older X players be so fucking mad at the, the, the current player because all the shit, all the shit that they ain't get that we got. But shout out, yeah. No, y'all no, paid no, the way, no. though, G. Yeah, man, he y'all lit- paid the way, though. Y'all no. paid the way, though, man. Y'all, hey, y'all don't get enough that. credit. Hey, you know what? It's... It's players, man. It ain't team, man. Listen, when you, I guess, I guess when you're an owner, you are, you, you don't have it, common sense in common, right? All right. When you, when you got that kind of money, the, the simple, they don't think simple anymore, right? I gave you 85 million. What you need a chef for? Cause I'm 19. I'm going to eat McDonald's. I don't know nothing else. <laughs> My girl don't know how to cook. She just got out of college with me. What? What you think? What you think I'm gonna go McDonald's and then I'm gonna go to the mall, right? Mall, I'm gonna mall parking lot pimp. Go to the mall, see. You know, I'm, that, that's what that's what that age does. So mm-hmm. you have to figure out how to build a a, 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 a gate around those those kids and until mm-hmm. they they get old enough to really understand what being a pro is. Yeah. Right. And if you don't know how to be, if you know, if you don't know how to, or you ain't been around older dudes to learn how to move. You're just going to be moving how your friends are moving, right? We're going to go to the mall. We're going to spend four, five hours at the mall. <laughs> four, five. Come on, think about it. Some of the young boys, they be at the mall all damn day. Oh, still. Still. <laughs> and I think, still. That, uh, I, I think that you're even seeing some of that with the young players today. And uh, whether you want to talk about the, the Zion situation first or the Jaw situation first, I think that like these are young guys who are kind of getting caught up in the trappings of a lifestyle that just where everything is presented to them, where it's like you can have uh, whatever affiliations you want to have, present whatever lifestyle you want to have, all kinds of clothes and tons of women just being thrown at you at all times. You know, this is a different era, right? Um, this is a different era. You got media. You got the you got media now, where everyone has their own voice. Back when I'm, mm. nah, you know what I mean. You, <laughs> you you just can't go on your page and blurt out stuff. It'd be like on a little blog site. You get that removed easy, um, or you have one of your you know people inside the organization reach out 
You know what I mean? There was, you know, protocols. It was a, a lot easier versus someone just getting mad at the moment and then tweet, right? Um, so with Zion, it's just the circumstances of the era he's in and not having a real foundational team around him. Um, that you could have never got this off on like a LeBron or, you know, um, shit, KD, Booker. I mean, any of the, like, your, your name is too big to have these little blurps of, I mean, that would have been an easy little check. Hey, sorry, baby. I'm, <laughs> I done fucked up my bad. You know, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> right. 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 Just, just let it go. My bad, you know. Um, when it comes to Ja, yeah, I want to I want to ask about Ja because obviously hey, your you think input that, uh, cuz cuz Ron Ron he asks me all these your, your input shit. Fuck all that. Mm-hmm. The punishment he got, the punishment you got, you think it's fair? No. The reason the reason the punishment ain't fair is because you're not getting punished for the actual crime. Right? Like the worst punishment in the NBA is uh, was it uh, conduct detrimental? Right. That's like, that's damn near for black people. That's like resisting arrest. Right. We, we, we don't know what resisting arrest is. You pulled me over for a ticket, window tent. I can't get arrested for a window tick, but as soon as you say, I, but resisting arrest is on it because I refuse to get out of the car. I need to be getting arrested to resist that arrest. Same thing with conduct detrimental. I got it. I, it's guns. Where's the gun charge? Seven games, three games, one game. When they say conduct, that's any game. Conduct can go from you was on a scooter and your ass isn't supposed to be on a scooter. That's conduct. That can go from one game to 82. There's no limit. And I don't like that shit. Right? It's like it's 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 like guesswork. <laughs> like, yeah, conduct. I got, I got three games to push in a motherfucker. They gave me three. <laughs> Three. Now, now what if now what if you taken up for my teammate? For now, what if you got mad? My... What if you got mad after them and then they were like, oh, oh, conduct, you know, mental conduct, and then you got 12 games. You're like, wait, what? No, just uh, give me the push. Right? That's what I'm saying. Like he if he had a gun, say that's the charge. Three one to three games, seven games max, right? Is gun charges. Conduct 50-60. 70. That's you don't want that charge. <laughs> you, don't want the, you, don't want, you don't want that card the charge, boy. They, 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 I'm surprised, man, that the they giving the, the, they motherfuckers the belt for conduct. Conduct. Life conduct. The conduct. That's our life, bro. When they start hitting <laughs> you, when they start like going around the, the actual crime, like nah, stick stick with the crime. I had I had a gun. <laughs> like him saying, nah, this was a light and up now it's behavior. Ooh, we don't like your behavior. You know, we got to, you know, and I, and like the, like before y'all close it up, it was mental. My, I got suspended for mental, a uh, mental, not gun. I, I didn't get one game for gun. Mine was, dr- when I was doing this plan, making fun of the situation, that's what I got suspended for. Oh, he's mentally mm. not, mentally not stable. Mm. 50 games. Mm. Well, 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 technically, it was game by game. <laughs> it was game by game till I'm mentally ready to play. But it was just 50 fuck games. See you next year. Mm. What they, like, people like, don't know. No, ahead. no, no, wrong. We, we can't skip past this. Like, people don't understand. Like, as like, I don't know. I like to call myself a real basketball player. And I don't agree that everyone's in the NBA as a real basketball player, if you know what I mean. Facts. But as, as a real basketball player, you take basketball away, you could you could take the you could take the money away. Motherfuckers still go hoop. Hey, you could take you could take the cars. You could take everything it presents. You could take motherfucking jersey off and say, man, you know what? Next fifty games, you are gonna be wearing a motherfucking tank top. You gonna feel a little salty, but you gonna be like, fuck it, I right, bet. If you, tell, if you tell Ja right now, hey, we're gonna suspend you for fifty games with pay. Or no pay, but you can play. I guarantee you, like, I play. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to sit home, man. What you talking that's, about? That's the thing. That's the death right there. Sit home. Like, oh, man. man. No. Oh, man. Bro, I got kicked out of school and college. They say, no, you ain't going to kick that. You just suspended a year. I oh, man, fuck. That's worse than shit. <laughs> Get kicked out. Now I got to just sit up in Arkansas and do nothing and just, no, nah, I'm gone. I got to go hoop. I'm gone. I'm gone. 
Don't you so think that 25 games for him of being away from basketball almost puts him in a situation where he's more likely to get into more trouble? Yeah, facts. You, you, listen, the NBA is basically, you have basically 22 hours every single day trying not to get in trouble, right? We practice for about an hour, hour and a half, right? Then the next 22 hours till we see you again, try not to get in trouble. <laughs> try not to get in trouble with all this goddamn money and fame you got. Like, it, like so that's, if you look at NBA players, they're very good, and the young ones, very good at video games. We got these odd hobbies, right? Because we have all the free time while everybody's at work, right? So if you're not married, think about the lifestyle. Think about the, the, other, the other sex. That's free between noon and damn seven o'clock. Strippers, mm. girls, Instagram models ain't got shit to do in life, right? All the sophisticated women at work. <laughs> they at work. We trying to play that. We at work. Why you think we in the malls? Unconsciously, shit. Strippers got to get their outfits pretty soon. <laughs> well, they just woke up. Yeah, they got to get an outfit for the night. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Like, like, but that's serious. Like, they be like, "How come y'all ain't meeting no nice ladies?" Should they at work when we 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 out? And you guys aren't in the library. No, nah, we ain't in the library. By the time, by the time we meet, we meeting at the club. Now we got to really guess which one is which. Other than that, our, our schedules match up with the worst people, the worst women in life. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah. So when you, to go back to your situation, uh, when you got that 50 game suspension for uh, mental, mental issues and everything, uh, mm -hmm. why was that situation not uh, kept in house? Was there ever any attempt to like, Hey, like this is something that happened here. We're going to deal with it. How did it make it out to the public and the media? Um, I wasn't the same player anymore. You know what I mean? Um, three knee surgeries, wasn't playing the same teams, not playing very well. Um, you know, teams being sold. Um, I really had no, I had no value at that point, you know, so, mm -hmm. um, hiding all my, my, um, immatureness wasn't in the best interest. Right. Mm -hmm. like, I was a wild boy, right? <laughs> but my wildness was only in the locker room because that's when I seen everybody, right? You know, I was in the gym so much when I finally seen, you know, my teammates, what's happening? What y'all doing? Hey, what y'all do last night? Right? Y'all got any diet? Like, that's my playground. You know, you know, I, we didn't hang outside the arena, right? We didn't hang, you know, everybody had family. So when we got there, that's where I had all my fun at, you know, paintball, shooting, water balloon fights in the locker room. Right. That, that's that's where I had all my shit at. So um, my likeliness to get in trouble was going to be in the locker room. Like now right. you catch me in the street and drinking and driving shit like that. And the, the, my, my shit was going to be in the locker room. So um, what they did, was it wrong or right? I mean, you have to do what's best, you know, what's in the best interest for, you know, the organization. You know, it was just, you know, my my stupidity thinking um that i was untouchable right everybody's touchable um you know it's a business you know if i'm fucking up the brand you know you know i got to be penalized for it you know but that took me years to realize that right you know yeah. in that situation you know what i mean um we done protected you for you know long enough you know you know how you know when you gonna grow up you know i'm 20 I, listen john's 23 i understand i'm 20 fucking eight at nine still doing dumb shit like that so um you know, that's, that's all, that's all self right there. They, you know, they ain't got nothing to do with, you know, if they should have kept it in house or they kept, listen, they kept enough shit in house, <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> they kept enough shit in, in house for me to at least make three all stars and three all NBAs. All right. That's real. And that's I, I shot, I shot one of our players with a BB gun in the middle of a no guns in the locker room uh, meeting by the NBA. <laughs> Who'd you Where's shoot, bro? Who'd you shoot? Nick, Nick Young walked right up to him, pointed hey, at him. Hey, hey. 
Yeah. It's you, man. Yeah. <laughs> you terrorize Nick Young, dude. One of my oh. favorite videos of all time is, I don't know if you were on Snapchat, but the compilation of all the videos of you hopping the fence, going into his house, terrorizing his son, graffitiing his walls. Like, I, I've never seen anything like that. My rook, man, my rook was just hard headed, man. It's just, it's just hard headed. I've been trying to break him since he came into the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> why did you do that that day, though? Why, why did you pick that day to to terrorize his life? Oh, uh, well, I think he he just it, it, him and the Iggy situation just happened, right? And then you know, uh, you know, the wall it got like something with Iggy, and then I thought, wait, shit, if you take off the G and the Y, shit, that's IG. We got the IG thoughts now, boy. What's <laughs> happening? Right? It's just, it's like you know, being that big brother when he's down, right? He's down for the, <laughs> you know, trying to make him feel. Don't feel bad that you cheated on somebody. That's what we do. <laughs> we just get another one. That's all. We just get another one. You know, and that's, that's how I was trying but to make You didn't have to throw his son's scooter, though. You threw his son's scooter into, like, the wilderness or something. Yeah, he said he didn't like me. Then, but we, we ain't friends then. <laughs> we ain't friends. I'm trying to be nice. Then he's going to say, I don't like you. All right, well, I don't like you either. What's happening? Hey, <laughs> you know, everybody get that smoke. Hey, Gil, you just misunderstood. That's all. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. You know, tough love, man. He's a nice kid right now. Got his glasses on, looking like a full nerd. We good. All right, let's talk about New Amsterdam Vodka for a second, folks. New Amsterdam Vodka. Yum. Can I just say yum to start off? Because, man, does that stuff taste good. And you know why? You want to know why? I'll tell you right now. Because it's born from an uncompromising passion for great vodka. And they have a heartfelt commitment to excellence that has enabled them to produce an American vodka of superb taste and unparalleled smoothness. I'm talking about 93 points. That's how well it's rated. Five times distilled. That's how much distilled. Three times filtered. That's how filtered it is. And that all leads to a delicious, smooth vodka. And while making great vodka is a passion, New Amsterdam is most inspired by those who are true to who they are and share an unbridled passion for everything they do, from pursuing their dreams, to celebrating with friends, to having an epic night out. That's why New Amsterdam Vodka is the official vodka of Barstool Sports. And you guys can find your wins with New Amsterdam Vodka. You don't like Kwame Brown for real though, huh? No, man, no. It ain't even about not liking a man. Like, you got him hot right now. Yeah, when we played, like, it was one of those situations, man. I heard what happened to him, you know, before I got there. So I wasn't on his head like that. You know, like, when you know, like, okay, he ain't, he been mentally beat up a little bit. I'm just going. So I I never really paid attention to him like that to really like, oh, come on, man, make the motherfucking shots. I just pretend that what the missed shots, all that. You know what I mean? It's like I'm 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 being me to 14 other dudes, 13 other dudes. Him. I'm just hey, just let him be, man. We already know. Let the progress. So I never had no problems with him. So, you know, the, these whole years, you know, I'm liking his pictures, doing it. What's up, man? How you doing? Right. And then all of a sudden he. Take a haymaker at me for 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 the clicks. So I let it go by for you, hey man. You know I'm gonna get out of the smoke, man. I don't want because I already know, like, oh man, he just you know he just slashing out. And then eventually, I'm like, man, all right, that's what we doing. Bet, <laughs> bet, I got you, right? Hey, hey, y'all ain't never running to each other. Not we text every day. Like I'm gonna fight you, text or no. it's love. Yeah, you should see what I said about you on Instagram today. And I got to go look at it. Oh, so this is what we on? Bet I'm going live in two hours. Right? Like, so we, <laughs> it's like we getting war, it's, we get a fucking warning before. They got an Instagram and Twitter war. Yeah, yeah, but, but, but the funny part is, it's like we, we, we sitting here every day texting, like teammates still. Like, yeah, I'm about to bust you. I'm about to go, I'm about to go ham on you today, nigga. <laughs> and then he'd be like, well, uh, keep my mom out of it. Well, I got to see you. <laughs> well, then I'm going to talk about your ugly ass brother still, though. Well, I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's like we have rules, but no rules. That, that's the funny part about it. Right? Because there's really no beef. It's just, it's like that locker room war. Because we both came in, who's going to be the star? Like, he was already there. I just got paid. So we battling for who's going to be the uh, main. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Being okay. It, now he's YouTube, so he won't that battle again. 
Right, right, right. Okay, I see the vibe. Okay, say that. You know what I mean? So it ain't it ain't real. It ain't no real actual hate. It's just yeah. That, that's when you say when two stars come together. I know exactly what yeah. you. Mean. <laughs> yeah. That's a common exactly. thing. Yeah, it, they kind of war over whose locker room it is, or what? I mean, you got two alpha males yep. from two different teams, or it might be the guy with the same team. And it's even tougher when it's the guy on the same team and a new guy come in. Mm. You know, when it's it's even better when it's two new guys because you can like fuck it, man. I ain't never been here. You ain't never been here. Fuck it. Let's get it. Like you know, like but when it's the main guy already there and another guy came, oh man, oof. It be like the little thing. It be the little things too. It don't even be big shit. Why he got two lockers? <laughs> why why his shoes spread it out? Like you know, because this new guy brings in new, you know, new new things that he does. He likes to put two tiles before he sits down on the road, and he likes to have everything lined up. Not a guy who didn't want tiles. Now he wants tiles, but now he wants tiles and something else. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That shit, why? That shit, like a little like, bit. No, we fun, like what's the funny is when you break us down. Like we some funny motherfuckers though. Like no, we're, 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 we're like the closest thing to female. Yes. <laughs> I promise you, basketball players are the closest thing to females, bro. Especially with all this fast and shit, nails and all that shit. I'll be the closest thing to female. No, we sitting there, we, because it's like, we don't want to be one-upped because everything is being judged to around each other, knowing that, like, how we look at you now is how we look at you versus your enemy. Right, so if you you ain't standing tall right now, we know you ain't gonna stand tall in front of. In front that's our mindset, yeah. Right. So we be sitting there doing just like little shit, yeah. You know, I had these little freaks last night. Here he come, yeah. I had like three of them last night myself. A three of them, well, yeah. My homie, he just called like eight of them the night before. Where y'all was at? <laughs> yep. No, I'm talking about we just got off the PJ, parachuted down to the mansion, landed in the pool. Man, we were shooting grenade launches off a plane in uncharted <laughs> waters at Gold AK-40. Oh, yeah. The NBA is wild, bro. The NBA is wild. <laughs> you guys I just trying to one up each other? Yes. Oh, I, seen, I seen four motherfuckers pull up in my locker room with a Rolls Royce. I yeah. go back home. Mom, I don't know how we going to do it, but I want a Rolls Royce. Yep. <laughs> yep. I feel, I, mean, like, I feel like super teams must have made that shit so much harder. Like, you nah. look at... So hard. Like, they, you did, they did? I, I mean... It's just the way they move, like the way they move, the way motherfuckers moved around, like the way LeBron moved, so just perfect. I mean, the, the way he went out, the way he went back home when I was in Miami was just, I'm, damn, this motherfucker moved like the president. Yep, yep. I got I ain't got, I ain't got. <laughs> 5,000 on my account. I want to move like that, though. <laughs> hey, that's it. <laughs> I remember, listen, I, remember I, bought a May, I bought a Maybach, right? I bought a Maybach. Maybach's is the, the, the long ones just came out. The 62 just came out, right? Mm. And then um, Deshaun Stevenson was like, nah, nah, I want one, right? When Deshaun Stevenson had one, Karan was like, oh, I got to have one now, <laughs> right? Now I got three teammates with Maybachs. Now I'm salty. Like, I got two niggas. Right? Give me another Maybach. Now I got, no! I'm, I got two Maybachs. <laughs> no driver. <laughs> now my goofy, listen, now my goofy ass used to do this. Drive it, it's the 62, it's the long joint. Drive it, park, get in the back like I'm special. Be sitting there just watching TV and shit. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, I go to the locker room, park it, sit in the back for about 20 minutes. Like, so a team make it like, damn, GA, you got drove here. Yes, yeah, sir. Y'all know how I do. Yeah, it's light in here, too. Come check it out. I just, yeah, I just got these. Just dumb. Just, dumb. just being dumb. <laughs> Ignorant. Yeah. Everybody go through it, though, bro. Hmm? Everybody go through it. It's the part of growing up in the NBA. Yep. Part of I'm Get surprised it. you don't see like uh, people trying to be like hipsters about it or being like, oh, I got this like vintage thing that's like different from everybody instead of everybody going with the grain or like uh, I'm just it seems like a good way to go broke, to be honest with you. I don't know. <laughs> Let one person get some vintage. Oh, no. Someone going vintage. Oh, you yeah. Know? Yeah. What? For sure. You got Let a vintage that man, watch? That, that man, what? <laughs> Anything. Let somebody come in that motherfucker with a vintage, like he said, watch, uh, 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 necklace, even a car. Man, motherfucker, go get that same car that summer. I promise you. Yep. What's, <laughs> what's like the smallest thing that people like compete over having the richest version of? Probably like bags, maybe. 
It was toiletry bags when I first toiletry came. Toiletry bags, yep. Toiletry bags, Louis Vuitton. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, what's that, Louis? I fuck Louis? that. Yeah, yeah. Right, come on, Tom Ford now. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> toiletry bags, bro. What toiletry we put that? Remember, because you used to walk in with just the toiletry bag before yep. you had the backpacks okay. and all the big bags. Yep. Toiletry bags. That's the reason why all the big bags are now. First, yep. they was toiletry bags. Niggas, you know, now motherfuckers don't even come to the arena with deodorant and shit. <laughs> Fuckers got them bags, them 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 them, them go yards, them, them Louis duffels, them. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, and yeah, so, yeah. And so, how about the other way? What type of things do people do that's still just like the same thing that they were doing when they had zero money? Is it the Chef Boy RD? Is it like single ply toilet paper? Like what are dudes doing that's just they haven't grown up from? peanut butter and jelly sandwiches type of vibes or like does every single thing change gold plated toilet paper mm, some people i think so, yeah I some. Think some people some people yeah. like i know like when i first got into the nba like i'm, I'm coming from europe so all my, my my appeal my 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 taste is all european to start I'm just broke as hell. I ain't got a lot of money, so I can't really afford it. You feel me? So, like, once I start making some money, my appeal from Europe start. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I was in Europe 15 years, 13 years ago, people were smoking hookah. Nobody was smoking hookah in the States. I come to the States, everyone's smoking hookah now. You know what I'm saying? But, like, nothing, it just depends on the person. Nothing really, like, tedious like that, though. Nothing I can think of. Yeah, that's what I said. It's, 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 it. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's it's. Once you get money, your, your lifestyle changes. Like you might have little habits still, but you won't you won't notice someone's someone's little habit still. Yeah, right. No. Except at the house. Gil, yeah, Gil, what was the flex like in uh, Shanghai? What 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 were the what was the like uh, luxury lifestyle like out in Shanghai? That has to be a wild city to live in. Hey, no man, listen. I went to, I remember uh, DJ White took me to the club, right? White, White? Huh? DJ White? The, the, the big man. Yeah, big man. From Indiana. 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 I played, I played in, I played in China with him, right? And he was like, oh man, we need to go to, we're going to go to the club. So we go to the club. He knew, he knew the owner. So, you know, I'm just asking all the questions like, ain't nobody in this motherfucker. Like, why are we here so early? So we, he wanted to eat there first and then, you know, boom. So I'm looking around like, man, this shit's supposed to be popping. He was like, man, just wait. So I asked the dude like, yo, so what, what's, what's the good night? Right? He's like, every night. Get the fuck out of here. He's like, he said, y'all got 6 million people in Cali. He said, we got 36 million people just here. So every night is popping. He said, I pay my rent the first day every month. As soon as I open the club, the first day on the first, I make all my rent. He said bottles. So sure enough, shoo, no age limit. No, oh, no, no age limit. 13, 14 year old kids in that motherfucker coming. They worse, they are worse than I've seen. I ain't seen that many bottle being popped in a club since China. P Diddy, P Diddy, they ain't got nothing on these kids out there. They kid these kids got big in their parents. Unlimited, unlimited swipe. Man, I see 13 year olds being carried out of the club, 40, 50 bottles at a time just coming to the table. They partying, drinking, playing a little dice game. They got fruit baskets. Man, it was a whole vibe. Wow. 13, 14, I mean, man, what's the age limit? Money. That's the age limit here. You got money, you in this club. They ain't got no age limit. It's who got the biggest pockets. I mean, shout out to enough. Kids running up two, three, five million dollar tabs. What? Man. On what? Liquor. Pouring it. They, 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 they don't, they, they just popping bottles just to splash it. They didn't drink it, splash. It was, it was like motherfucking water holes <laughs> in the movie. <laughs> nah, just everybody just get a little bit of this. <laughs> never seen, wow. no, never seen anything like it, man. Little kids just being carried out of club drunk. <laughs> wow. 
All right, let's talk about Game Time for a second. Game Time, the exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. Game Time was created by fans. It was created for fans, and it makes it easier than ever to score last-minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows and they guarantee the lowest price. I was just at a comedy show going at the last minute. Best way to go at a big stadium like that. Game time. If you're going to go out to a festival this season, if you're going to see Drake or G-Eazy perhaps, if you want to see old G-Eazy, SZA, Medusa, Chance the Rapper, the Mets, the Yankees, the Bulls, you know, the the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, all of those can be seen on Game Time with the Game Time app, the biggest last minute price drops that can be found on seats that you thought that you could never buy. You can skip the hassle. You can enjoy the moment with Game Time. Download the Game Time app or go to the website, enter your email and redeem code PATBEV for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. And what do the older players think about the money now? Um... Our generation, see, our, our generation is like right in front of yours, right? Um, it won't be us. It's the it's that '90s crew, right? So it's it's Charles now. It's, yeah, it's that it's that group because you know my you know I'm on a five year five year one eleven. So yeah, you ain't way off. Right? Yeah, you know what I mean. So five year one eleven. My next my next deal would have been one eighty five. Yeah. Right? Like, even though that's the deal, not my next deal would have been 185, 2000, shit, 13, 14. All right. Because right. my, my max deal, I signed 111, but my max was 126. All right. So you get super max. Huh? Yeah. So, um, so what ends up happening is now, like, when I tell people, I was like, all right, uh, uh, if 250 is max, then 135 would be like mid level. Right. That's like the halfway point. That's like, you know, um, in my era, that's a dude making, you know, anywhere from eight to 12. So when they be like, man, he got 200, you know, he got 180 million in our era. That's 90 million. Right. Everything's right. Double, right? Everything's double. It's 90 million. Then they'd be like, oh, OK, OK, that makes sense. Right. Right. You know right. I mean? it, it ain't the money. It's more. It's the stats. Right. Like man, when I averaged twenty in this, I got I got ninety million. Same, he 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 got one eight. This is just double, bro. Right. And I think when you when you break it down, instead of taking using the money, just use your numbers. But like when JJ JJ had what one year twenty three million. Everybody, like, what the fuck was that? Money's getting bigger, man. <laughs> Money's getting bigger. That's like twelve million back then. It's just let it go. <laughs> just let it go. All right. All right. Gil, uh, right. I, I got a question. Do you think that you were ever penalized for being who you are and your attitude? And I ask that question because I've seen this story going around about your tryout for Team USA, how you were on the precipice of making the team. They cut you from the team. You basically looked at everybody and were like, I'm going to give you 50. I'm going to give you 50. I'm going to give you 50 and went back and basically, you know, did it. But do you think that what went down with Team USA was – them being, you know, averse to your personality? Or do you think that it was a numbers crunch? Or what do you attribute all of that to when you look at that situation? I wasn't the personality yet. Hmm. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't really that, um, I wasn't really that person yet. What happened was um, shoe brands, right? The shoe brands is coming in, right? Um, there's only really two Adidas guys on the team, you know, that made that, that, that made, I'm doing everything. I even called Mike. Like, I think, I don't know if it was 4th of July. I don't know what it was, but I called him um, and say, you know, anything you need for me, the Eagles, I'm leaving the Eagle back here in Washington. Right. <laughs> you know, right. You need, you know, hustle man, defensive, whatever you need. Right. That's, I, that's what I'm coming with. Right. Because the team, there's, there's only what three, two-time All-Stars on the team or two-time All-NBA is just me, LeBron, and D-Wade, right? So worst case scenario, I'm third rank. <laughs> I'm third rank in this motherfucker right now. Right, right. Chris Paul played for USA. Melo already played for USA. You know, Chris Paul was on the younger, you know, 18 and over, you know, so um, I did everything, right? By playing D, you know, I'm the dude taking the charge. Pat, I'm you. I, you know what I mean? I'm, 
Yeah, so I got this. Never it takes. Yeah. Never it takes. I'm with the see what they did was this, right? They set it, they set it up for failure. I got put, so you got, so this is one team, LeBron, D-Wade, Melo, Chris Bosch, Dwight Howard, CP, um, Joe Johnson, right? It's me, Kirk Heinrich, mm. uh, Brad Miller, Antoine mm. Jameson, uh, um, Shane Battier, Bruce Bowen. It's not good enough. Right? Not, thank you. It's not good enough. So what do you think they decided? What do you think the teammates decide to do? Give Gilbert the ball. They can't stop him too fast. So we going to 21. I got 18. Mm. Right? We playing zone. I got all that. Gilbert go. So all they doing is just, I'm, I'm looking like I got dirt. I got, I guess like I got a bunch of Jokic's on the team. Back door, right. coming off for the pick. They Like we creating our own plays, bro. Kirk Heinrich finally set the double pick. Boom. Like that's what it looked like. So it, it so I'm basically the selfish one in the group trying to compete. Right? We beat we beating them, but we're beating them in the selfish way, not a team way. But we oh, trying, okay. trying to win. <laughs> we trying to win to keep up with them. Right. So they changing the rules. Oh, we're gonna make forget forget about being offense. It gotta be defensive stops. <laughs> right, well, well, shit, they ain't gonna get no stops on me. Then. How about that? <laughs> right, right, right. Because it was easier for us because back then we were trying to learn a zone. So we the zone busters, you know, they got all the athletes. So they got all, you know, they, they got Dwayne, you got Dwayne, LeBron, CP, they got all that. Yeah, they got all the athletes. So they can't, they ain't out there shooting like that against us. So I ain't getting no minutes in the game. I remember I got in. We playing Lithuania, came in, three straight buckets. Wop, 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 burn, sub. I just got in. Sub. You know, like, you know, when you hit a sub, you know, I just got in. They ain't seven for me. Hit that show. You got to look over there. Yeah, I didn't even. What's that? Oh, what you mean, for? oh shit. You All right, boom, boom, boom. Right? And I'm sitting there. We, we're blowing them out. Everybody getting put in. It's like six minutes of everybody getting put in, not me. We on that bullshit, bro. Oh, they sitting here doing this, man. I'm like, all right, we're gonna see in practice. All right. All right, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. We're gonna see who's him in practice. So I'm on that. Like, we're gonna see what's happening in practice. My right? games are practice. Yes. Man. So I'm so I'm really just like, like, I'm not, you know, I'm not saying nothing. I'm not talking back to nothing. I'm just practice about to be intense, though. That's your game. I'm, your game. I'm, really, I'm, really, yeah, I'm really doing that. So I remember we in, um, I remember even what's the name, Mav, and it was like, oh, you about to play today, boy. You got to get, it, we're, we're playing Brazil. D-Wade, something happened. I, got, I don't know if he got hit the nose or the eye, so he got to sit out, put me in. My, my Rip Bob Bo, uh, Barbosa, like we lose a Rip Barbosa, got the basket, offensive rebound, got that, hit it, we go up, right? Like we go, oh, shit, we up. They sub the way back in. We win. Everybody celebrate. Like, yeah, you know, I, I would have did that. You know what I mean? Little minute. You know, little minute. That's all a nigga need like that. <laughs> all right, right. I'm cool. I'm cool. So, so even though I ain't playing, I still think I'm him on the team. So we in, um, I forgot exactly where we were, but we was on the army base. We was on army. I'm the dude. Listen, I'm the dude that's speaking for the army dude, the blind dude. Right? We got the one to do hit. Uh, strapping in the eye so he can't see. They got me doing the play by play for him. So, you know, yeah, oh, it's about to get real. Oh, oh, oh LeBron, LeBron, LeBron. Oh, LeBron just that. So, you know, I'm, you know, the personality. All so, right, you have a you know, you know, Hey, now you got to stand up. The, the, the dunk I just seen, you got to stand up for him. He's standing up. The blind guy standing. <laughs> yeah. So, like, I'm really, like, I'm really playing my part as an American. <laughs> no, so, but that's why they had you do it, though. Yes. So, so, so I, we we we, in the, we got the full suit on, hot in this hot gym. Boosties boost, man. I look, I feel like I'm John Morant though. Yeah, yeah, you know how them hot gym go. Oh yeah, boo, boo. I'm like, man, I need to. I thought it's the suit. I'm like, hey, man, I take one of these home, bro. <laughs> and I tweak my, I tweak my, tweak my growing, and I'm like, I'm like, damn. I hope this ain't you know what set me out like my third year in the NBA. So I'm like really concerned. So I went to Colangelo. On some humble, like, hey, Mr. Colangelo, man, I pulled my groin. And um, I don't know, I don't know how serious it is, but you know, um, I know cuts is about to come up. And um, 
I don't want to hold, you know, I, if it's more serious and you cut somebody, I don't want to hold a spot for somebody to really help you guys. Oh, you quit. So he was like, um, <laughs> that's what they said. That's what they said. That's the yeah. He was like, um, oh, no, nah, it's okay. You on a bubble. The, bu- the what? Like the, the bubble. I look, I had to look back, look at the team. Probably some motherfuckers come that I ain't know came on the team. <laughs> had to look back. <laughs> No, nah, that's the same. No, nah, that's the same motherfuckers on the. How, how many people made this team? No, nah, I'm, I'm I'm like five or six. <laughs> I don't know what you're nah, like, 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 like I know like the way the team is structured, right? I know I'm not beating out CP, right? Like you know what that team needed that CP right there, right? Um, like, even, though I'm average, even though I'm averaging twenty nine. Like I, I, I still understand the concept of a team structure. Mm. I'm like, you know, CP controls it better. Uh, I'm a wild, motherfucker. So you know, CP, you got Dwayne, LeBron. Okay, you know, you got the white. Okay, but off that bitch, I'm first. Who? <laughs> <laughs> hey, who? I don't, who? Come on, cool. bitch, faster than cool me. Like, I mean, yeah, five, six, seven. I don't give a shit. Me, Joe Johnson. We come off the bitch. That's cool. Who else? Oh, Bruce Boy. Oh, man, y'all crazy as hell. Hey, man, give my goddamn check. I'm out of here, man. I'm out of here. I, I, ain't, I ain't paying this shit, man. You popped <laughs> like, the bubble. I, yeah, man, I was, yeah. I, 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 so it, it's not like I got quit. It's just a thought. Uh, <laughs> of Kirk Heinrich it, being on the team instead of you, you were like, man, I'm going to I'm going to go. Even, even Kirk, you're solid. Like, like shooting guards, though? No, not then. Who's spreading not the floor? Then. Me, me, I, me, Joe Johnson, and 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 Mello are the floor spreaders here. So I don't know. Mm-mm, not then. New sponsor alert: Fitbod. Fitbod. Pat, you know he's got a Fitbod. Me? Well, I could use a little program like this. But luckily, Fitbod is a personalized workout plan designed for your fitness levels and goals. Fitbod creates custom workouts based on your personal goals, experience, and available equipment and more. And you can build your fitness habits and stay consistent all summer long. Workouts will improve as you improve. So Fitbod's powerful technology understands your strength training ability, studies your past workout, and adapts to your available gym equipment. It keeps your gym sessions fresh and fun by mixing up your workouts, and you can track your achievements and learn new exercises. You can keep track of all those achievements and your personal bests with Fitbod's progress tracking charts. Learn more movements the right way with over 1,400 exercise demonstration videos. Wherever you are on your fitness journey, get the most out of every workout with FitBod. Get 20% off your subscription at fitbod.me slash patbev. That's F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash patbev. So you got to understand, Ron. So I'm from Chicago, right? So when I was growing up and going, uh, they just opened a brand new gym, right? It was called Attack, right? And uh, I'm a Chicago kid, so up and coming, I'm going to college. So obviously, you know, anybody doing well going to a big college in Chicago, they automatically get invited. You might not play. You get a chance to see other NBA players play. I get invited. So the way the gym is, you walk into the gym, it's a full court this way. You walk in the middle, it's a full court that way, and back to the end. Back to the end, near the weight room. It's another full court this way. A guy named Joe Boyle. <laughs> my, he really was like my, you know, he was an intern, rebound guy. He sits behind the bench at uh, Minnesota Temple. I walk in one day, Ron. It's a normal day. I'm always there. I walk in. But I never walk in. Me, I'm 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 a college guy. I don't have what the NBA guys have. They they take a road, they take a way inside the gym straight past everybody on the bleachers. I take the long way. I don't, you know, I take the long way. I'm trying to just be quiet. I'm trying to, I'm in that bitch. I see Gilbert Arenas in that bitch. Right. Right from, I see Gilbert Arenas in that bitch. I see Gilbert Arenas in that bitch. Headphones on, wrong. Like, like, like real headphones on when it's just him, wrong. It's just him. And he got the ball at half court. And he taking one dribble and shoot threes. Wrong. I'm talking. I'm in the back and the cut like this. Get away from. I'm looking. 
And the guy, Joe Boylan, who's my coach, was rebounding for him. I'm talking about Ron, this motherfucker, he's shooting that bitch. I'm talking about like, I'm talking about Steph Curry threes before they Steph Curry threes, bro. Them bitches ain't hitting nothing but net, bro. Headphones on. So focused, so locked in, no interruptions, no anything. I I, I almost felt like I was in his way and I was behind him. He, he probably don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> but you saw I'm how locked Ron, in he was. I'm talking about Ron, some of the best shooting. I'm talking about the same mechanics, the same form, just the, like, I didn't know he was that strong. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, like looking at it now, like being like in the NBA now and being here so long, like that's a lot of fucking strength shooting them damn shots, especially his size. Man, that motherfucker was in that bitch, man. I'm talking about, and he was like, I'm talking about like an hour and 20 straight, Ron. I go in, I lift, I'm done lifting. He's still on the same court. I'm talking about sweat everywhere, Ron. I will never forget this shit, bro. I remember this shit like it was yesterday, dog. He finished. It was like puddles of sweat everywhere, bro. Like each like little spot. And it was like, make 30s here. Mm-hmm. Make 30 here. Make 30 yeah. here. Damn. That, he, that, probably never, he probably never knew the story. Nah, nah. <laughs> That's right. He did right. Oh, so you wasn't. Oh, so you. Man, listen. I used to do. Damn, where I have it at. But I don't. Hold on. I have book, I have book, or oh, I got the I got the piece of paper. So look, this is crazy. Cause all the little Chicago's like Will buying them, them, right? Yeah, so, so I'm way under them, right? Yeah, so I look, I used to keep notebooks, right? Keep notebooks. So what I do during the season, if I see you do a move, and I'm like, dang, what was that? I'll point, I'll point at the uh my, my strength guy, he'll write the time down. I go back to the film, watch it. And I go, oh, that's the Pat Bev, right? Then I'll take that move, and then I'll add all the extra shit to it, right, for the summer. So my summer workout, when I'm opening up the book, boom, I got every NBA move that I've seen, and now I got to update and add all the extra to it. So in the summer... Everybody wanted the book. <laughs> Everybody wanted the book because I, I, listen. You do a move and I couldn't catch it. Hey man, look when you was when you played us, it was like seven, his time. What is this? Seven thirty-seven. <laughs> seven thirty-seven. In this move, what is that? What'd you do? Right, because you know most of the stuff is is creative and natural. Because I say, man, there ain't no such thing as a bad player in the NBA. Right, everybody has a gift. Right, everybody gonna do their gift if they, you know, if they got they they hips can move faster than everybody else. They can get low. They can right. Everybody brings something that nobody can see. I tried to figure out what that was. Do you remember mm. any specific move? Do you remember one where you're like, oh wow, that's one I've never seen before? Is there one that stands out that you had to get that that time stamp for something that really jumps off the page of those notebooks you had? Uh, it was the Will Bynum that dropped, Ooh. dropped dribble. Yes. Ooh. This way, too. <laughs> the counter, yep. you could drop it yep. right to left. Hezzy, you could yep. do anything out there, bitch. It was the That's drop. what John Moran do. That's yep. what John Moran do. Same move every time. So it was the drop. It was that. Um, it was Jamal Crawford's... Um, he had the fast break. He had the boom, and then tr- the hop over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had the hop over, <laughs> and then his the, his way his way of rejecting picks, right? Oh, yeah, whole that, that, body. that whole body switch, right? Um, I couldn't I couldn't get that damn euro step down for shit for some reason. Yeah, you didn't uh, euro line. You drop yeah. dribble. Yeah, it was a, yeah the drop <laughs> drop dribble drop dribble strong. Yeah. Boom, yeah, it was, uh, um, what else? Who else moved? I remember when Rondo came in. I remember watching him move in Rondo um, college. And he was running. It was old school, like, dream shake movie on fast break and hit him. Bop, dude, flew out and turned. I, mean, I couldn't get that for shit. <laughs> I, like, I can practice it, but I couldn't get into the game because I was, all, I was wired to, once I attack, one dribble, go. So I wasn't taught to like come, come and then do, do the like ball, the, the small movements. Mine was boom and see the lane and then look at feet. And then if the feet are inside, already take off. So because once you lift, 
even if they got outside the Turk, uh, the circle, it was that, that contact was different. Like they had to stop. They had to stop and change the rule because of me and Dwayne Wade. Like if you was inside the key, I'm running, I'm just running over you. Give you a foul. Cause you're not in defensive position. So they had to change mm. that as long as they jump straight up and all that little crap. Mm. Yeah. And then you, you see how crazy that is? This motherfucker's putting 60s on motherfuckers head, shooting that bitch from half court. I had trouble doing a Rondo. Think oh. how, like, how. Couldn't do a Rondo. Like, bro, I do the Rondo. That's my go to. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't slow down. I couldn't slow down for it. It's like once I got, once I turned my engine on, I just had to jump. That I couldn't. So I couldn't stop. Like, I'm sitting there damn near traveling. Like, it, it, <laughs> If y'all ain't noticed, have y'all noticed LeBron James can't do the right to left Euro? He's going to travel every time. No, no. He can't do the left to right. When he's going left and he tries to go here, here, he's going to always... Oh, yeah, yeah. He's going to give you Let a third. Let me get D.C. and travel. The rest of the <laughs> He travels every time. Because he's so used to going here, here, and jumping. When he's this way and go boom, boom, he's like, oh, no, I need to... And, and always give you the third. We're like, yo, that's traveling, bro. <laughs> like a travel, man. That's sick. The breakdown and your go to has he pulled? Where you get that from? Huh? Your go to has he pulled? Where you get that from? DC. That hand has he pulled? Yep. D D. So so we have the the which one? The one where you boom and shoot? No, the one where you just came down. It was more like a pause. Yeah, 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 that one. So the pa the the, the pause has he? Yeah, not the in and out one. No, 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 no. That's all DC. Having those little, the, little the, the kids teach me that all the little hoopers, the little DC hoopers, teaching me how they 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 that hand movement with the yeah. head, and it was good with that. But the one that comes like fake it, like right, yeah, fake, like that, that, the in and out to the out of the Iverson cross has he pulled? Yeah, yeah. yeah, oh, that's T Mac and uh, that was T Mac, T Mac and um, like T Mac was doing it, and then like Steve Nash started doing it. You can like, never know T Mac was doing it because he was so long. Like he just, it's, it's just, it's just, like just yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, Damn. I want to I want to rip through a quick six pack because you've given us a, a, a ton of your time real quick, but I want to just rip through a, a, some some quick ones for you. Okay. Um, so uh, quick six pack. Who was the toughest guy guarding you in your day when you played? The toughest guy where you were like, this is going to be a hard assignment. Um. To guard, he's gonna guard me. Or he's I gotta guarding guard? you. He's guarding you. Tony Banks, small, yeah, small, strong, strong. Yeah, he was. He his lateral quickness out outdid mine. <laughs> like so, when I tried to like burst past him, he was strong enough to to hold me, and just used to irritate the hell out of me. And mm. how about when you look at today's game? Who do you think would be a tough one? to go against? Who do you think will give you a hard time if you're looking at today's rosters? I got to see it in real. I got to see them. All, I got to see right. them on the court in real time, right? I can look at somebody and be like, oh, I beat the shit out of this dude. And then when I get on the court and I see how fast he actually moves. So, you know, there's there's guys that's built for different guys, right? Guys, right. That's why and, I like the bigger guard. Like that, yeah. that, that, strong, that stronger guard who can move left or right that can stop me from just using my speed. Like the Kobe's and the, they, was, they was trash on defense for me. Right? All them, all them defensive, them long, like the Clay Thompsons, I, them, you're getting smashed on, bro. Like LaQuai, you, you're too slow footed. Right, you're a two foot jumper, slow. Hey, you getting buckled knee? I'm getting past that. It'd be like the Pat Bevs. It'd be um, Marcus Smarts. Marcus Smarts. Like it depends on how like he has the body type is how quick he is from right. left to right. Yeah. right. So when I shift and try to go, how fast can he get there? Right. But Marcus, right. man, my shooting percentage like I couldn't even bring the ball up the court. Nah, and you here, man. Like, like he literally rips me every time. Never, I, no other player I've never been ripped from him two, three times a game. Damn, that's a nice badge of honor for him. All right, three. Where did Hibachi come from? Um, <laughs> bad defense on my part. Uh, <laughs> so me and Larry, we was getting, we was getting cooked. We was getting cooked every night. Well, I was just Larry had to just keep. 
like going from player to player because I wouldn't play defense. So I'm getting cooked. <laughs> and, and, and Brennan Haywood was like, man, boy, them boys out there got y'all on the grill, boy. They got you on that hibachi grill, boy. They over there cooking chicken and shrimp. Boy, you the chicken, he the shrimp. <laughs> right? so I was like, man, I'm over there hibachi and people too, right? And then I was like, so what happened is I got hot one day, but I, boy, I got you on that grill, boy. I'm over here cooking that chicken and shrimp on you, boy. And then from there, I just start saying it. I'm the hibachi now. Hey, you, hey, no lie. You was smoking, mother. I've never seen a player do what you did during that, that, that time of period ever in my life. And I don't think the NBA has me. We wasn't like, allowed. You got to put your run up there with like Mike's, Bronze, Cobes. James Harden, Houston like, maybe, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. 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 Like that, that. like that. Man, listen. When I was like, looking at this, what was your mindset? Like, not, not your mindset. What was your... It's a quarter. What was your body? How was your body feeling? Like, you know, athletes, you know, you back to back. I love. Amazing. It was, man, I was, in, I was in, like, I was in so much condition, man, that, that. None, of that none of that, like, um, I'm, pr- I'm training three times a day during season. Right. I didn't like day off. I'm going to the gym. We go on the road. I'm going to the 24 hour fitness. I'm doing I'm doing something the night before the night before every game. I'm in the gym going like it's a game. So I'm playing back to backs anyway. Like so my hour two hour workout the night before the game is I'm mimicking the game. Right. It's, you know what I mean? But I didn't have no outside life. So other than that, I'm just sitting on the couch, chilling, resting. I'm off my legs anyway. Right, right, right. So I'm not, yeah. Yeah, I'm not really running around doing shit. Um, so um, it's like you know, when you in that mode mentally, man. And I, I, I watch film. Everybody should just get a highlight tape of yourself. Right, get a highlight tape of yourself, and anytime you're feeling down, pop that motherfucker in, man. Pop it in, watch yourself be great. Mm. Hell yes. Let's talk about more labs. Can anyone else relate to this? I notice that it's getting tougher for me to recover after I drink. I'd have some wine with dinner on Sunday. I'd wake up feeling groggy or foggy on Monday. That's when someone told me, about morning recovery. Sure, you could drink water or scarf greasy food down the next morning, but none of these things will leave you feeling glorious. Morning recovery will. It's the nectar of the gods, the fountain of youth, your new drink one before having a good time and wake up ready to go drink. So head on over to morelabs.com and use our code PATBEV to save 25% off of your first purchase. Go to morelabs.com, use code PATBEV for 25% off your first order of morning recovery. Who's the best shit talker you ever played against? Uh, Sam Cassell, either Sammy, uh, I call Gary Payton towards the end. Uh, so, uh, uh, oh, ticket, the ticket. You got to think, Sam Cassell, shout out to Sam Cassell. That's my, he was one of my coaches, Clippers. Sam Cassell, Philly, every time I see Sam Cassell since I left, Clippers, to see him pregame shoot around, I got to get a stop on him. He grabbed a ball, half court. Come on, you little black ass motherfucker. Come on, guard this post now. Yeah, that's Sam. I'm going to time out. This year, we played Philly. You watch before the game, 60 on the clock. It's me and Sam Cassell out there playing walls before a game, bro. Yeah. yeah. Sam Cassell, great man. Yeah, great yeah. man. You know, the, my best shit talker on the team, like Chucky Atkins. Chucky Atkins. Bro, like, you know how, like, you know how, like, some days you ain't, you ain't even trying to practice, man, like that, right? Coming in, man, I, I ain't coming to practice like that, man. I ain't got it today, y'all. I ain't got oh. it. Not <laughs> Chucky. Oh, look at him, coach. Oh, he's scared. Oh, he's scared. He heard I was on fire today. He must have uh, been scared. Oh, man, look at him, y'all. I don't know why. Look, I should be the starter. I should be the starter. I, I love a teammate like day. that. And I'd be like, oh, you know what? All right, cool. hey, but fives, man. We run, we running fives, man. <laughs> he did that every time. Every time I felt like ah, I ain't got it today, he was gonna run his mouth. That's what's up. And then so last two for me. 
Who is your favorite teammate that you played with? And who is one guy in the game today that you're like, man, I wish I could, uh, I, I wish I could lace up and be his teammate, being a starter fire with that guy. You know what? I would say as a teammate that like, like has nothing to do with like, man, this dude I, I go to war with. I would have to say Chucky Atkins still or, what, or Steve Blake, because they challenged me to be great. Right. They challenge me every day to be great. Like, you know, when you get that 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 ego in you. Right. And like they was making sure like, nah, nah, G.A. Like we need you. We so we we can't allow you to 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 pretend or that, you know, like we're going to go at you every single day because we need you to go at these players every single, You know, and that's just how Chucky was with me. Same mm. with Steve, Blake. Steve Blake coming mm. in like, man, I should be starting. At the at the what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you know, Steve, hey, Steve, Florida boy too. He point right at you in front of you. You're a prima donna. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, right, now, uh, coach, uh, drop. We're gonna do the drop. Post him, and I'll, I'll hit him. Boom! Him. None of that. None of that hurt. <laughs> I'm not scared. Steve, Didn't he fight someone in practice? Or is there like footage of him fighting, bro? He, <laughs> bro, man, Steve Blake. Took off on Steve Nash over a foul. Steve Nash is called a foul. Steve Blake called him soft and then swung on him. Like, oh shit. <laughs> Not the white on white. The yeah, white yeah, on white. Hey, that Steve. was that was that was that was that was something in his past. He wanted to get that off there. That's nah, just Steve Blake, like, don't be soft. Like he like yeah, like if you like he wants to wrestle you. Like he's like you. He wants to like, especially in practice, it's physical. Like we physical. Like it ain't no, he ain't gonna take no charge. Coach, no, you don't call no hey. motherfucking fouls. Coach, ain't no charge. Yeah, oh, he the first one. Ain't don't call no fouls. Yeah, yeah. He makes sixty five million dollars. He don't get no fouls. Right, right. Yeah. Fuck man. Fuck you. Yeah. Calling the foul for put that yeah. fucking whistle up, coach. Come yeah, on, that's play. Yeah, it's the guy. Like I, I you know, I, I gotta say, my teammates, man, is the guys who really pushed me to be all stars, and that's the dude that's who got guard me in practice every day. That's what's up. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's what I said. I would have loved to play with Pat. Oh, man. Oh, no. Hey, gee, I would have geeked you the fuck up. You would have 70s. And I, would, I wouldn't have stopped. No, coach, don't take him out. Put Tim on his but fucking that's, but, but that's the same. But that, that's the guy in practice. He's going to demand you to be excellent all the time. All the time. Right, all the time. Like, it's going to be exactly. like, and that if you don't have a teammate, man, that really challenged you to be great because – He's relying on you to be great so his defense can be great. Right, huh? Right? If he's guarding the number one scorer in, in, you know, in guards, shit, he knows, y'all y'all can't do nothing on me, boy. Yeah, you guys I'm aren't sorry. getting hibachi No yes. hibachi there. <laughs> you can't hibachi hey. me if I'm, if I'm stopping him every day. Hey, come on, Zach. Yeah, yeah. come on. Come and on, Debo. That's, that's how I yeah. feel. And, and I, the rest. When, I do the rest. Yeah. When, I knew, when I knew I was a, when I was, when I made it as a lead scorer, so uh, Larry Hughes was first team all defense, right? Mm, okay. And I used to challenge him in practice every single day. Nah, put him on another team, coach. Put him on. Well, I go on another team. Like, I want to, I don't think his defense like that, right? <laughs> all mm. Right? Because he got to guard the Kobe's and all that, right? So I, I'm, I need to learn his tricks. Like, come on, damn, block that. God damn. Right? Trying to figure out his shit. And I'm watching tape back. What is he doing? And I remember we playing him in, um, when he went to Cleveland, and I, I walked right up to him. Yeah, I'm busting your ass this series. Oh, I, I, I got a whole new bag for you. This bag is just for you. <laughs> I averaged 34 that series. This is just mm. for you. And when, when, I, when I seen that, yo, I scored on Larry, oh, yo, the rest of y'all guards is easy. It's, he, he first team. That's just, it's just one more other one, and it's Kobe. It's Mount Everett. Yeah, Mount it's, Everett. It's him and Kobe. Uh-huh. I got some for him and I got some for Kobe. That's the bad. Yeah. Damn, bro. Well, dude, uh, mm. I mean, you've been you've been uh, so generous with your time. Uh we get why they call you no chill Gil. Please don't start <laughs> chilling anytime soon. Uh please don't chill. Yeah, never. Age is zero. Yeah. I mean, I just learned. Listen, Ron, you gotta think. Listen to him speak. Uh -huh. I mean, we talking like basketball talk. Like, it's some shit that I'm gonna go. To the lab. You're about like, okay, to get a cool. notebook. I know you, dude. What? No fit, no feet in the paint. I never heard that. Say less. Hey, you know what's so funny? Hey, um, I use you as an example when I'm when I'm telling telling kids about the next level. 
I said, man, I, I say, hey, Pat, I said, I said, y'all know Patrick Beverly, right? He said, yeah, he's just a defensive player. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> I said, woo, yeah, look at what he did in high school. Uh huh. Well, you averaged 20. You think you'll score? I said, he averaged 37 in Chicago. 37 led the state of Chicago. He led all of Chicago with 37 a game, and he's a defensive player in the NBA. I ain't scored 10 points. I think I scored 10 points once in my career. I said, that means he had to really Average. sacrifice. I said Average. he had to sacrifice himself for the betterment of the team. Y'all all all think y'all score, score. Y'all ain't going to be scores. All y'all ain't going to be scores in the mother. He 37. <laughs> I was like, a 37 a game. He averaged more than me in Chicago. And you think, what, what you think you're going to do? Man, let me get you uh, fucking 15 points out of here, boy, and better rebound. Well, you got to adjust. You got to adjust. And, and you got to keep adjusting. Keep adjusting. And, that, and, keep I say adjusting. That, and I say that's why players, I said that's why players stick. And you'd be like, why he in there? Because he adjusted for that role. Sure that wasn't the role he wanted to be in. I want to shoot that bitch. Yeah. I want to do what everybody else doing. Yeah. I got to pick up these enough. I don't, look, I don't even play deep, but I got to pick them up for 94. And yeah. that's how I'm going to be a. 11 year star in this league. I don't have to come off nobody bench. Say less. Yep. People, All right, cool. people don't understand that, man. They don't under cool. they do not understand it. There's it's a, only look, it's only a couple of us left from that Steph Curry draft. Me, Steph, Steph Curry. Hey, <laughs> hey, that's crazy as shit. People, it's hey. only like six of us left. Hey, even even media, man. When I when I when 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 media talk, right? And they be saying, oh, man, this guy's selfish. And, you know, this guy don't want to pass the ball. And as much as a player want to say, you know, I practice with him, right? You know, I practice with this group. There's a reason I don't pass it to them. <laughs> There's a reason I don't pass on the ball. They're at the club, strip club, four in the morning, four in the morning at the strip club. You think I'm passing on the ball? I've been in bed since 8 p.m. You crazy as shit. I'm going. I, gotta <laughs> go my- I don't trust gotta- they gotta show me better. They gotta show me better. They don't, but they don't, no one factors that in. You gotta show James when James Harden went to that strip club or whatever club he went to during the playoffs, and he came back, had 40. That's cute. You ain't getting the ball no more. <laughs> oh, no, you no, that's not how we're gonna do this. You're not gonna I, hey listen, we here thinking about the playoffs. You there? Oh nah, no, <laughs> nah, no. No, thank you. No, thank you. Unfortunately, that's how it is. No, thank you. Like, I just, I, that, you know, that's one of my favorite players. God, but look, I, I'll have his shoes on, his shirt on, and talk shit. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll shit, I don't give a fuck. I have his shit. They'll be like, you, you, you hate Jay's heart? I got his motherfucking shirt on and his shoes. Hey, people don't understand oh, how cold, people don't understand how cold he is. He cold. He cold. Cold. Listen, there, there's, you know what it is, Pat? When, when you make it look so easy, when you make it look so easy, people don't have a respect for it anymore. Wow, he, this, that's too easy. He, he, he need to learn how to do something else. They told him he stepped back too much. Yeah, step I don't back. think he's doing that step back. I don't think he's doing that step back. Well, you know how hard to step back three in the NBA? Step back. Going right is? What are you talking about? Right, going left, just all of it. Just like... I, Listen, it's just, <laughs> but man, people perfect things, make it look so easy that to the point where you don't like it no more. He also led the NBA in assists, too. Euro it's like time. you wanted him to do something new. He led the league in assists this year. I, I, I don't like it. <laughs> hey, he led the league in assists. He washed. <laughs> he washed, bro. Only thing guys can do is dunk. And damn, you know how hard it is to dunk? Like, <laughs> and, that'd be, and that'd be me. I, when, I, when I hate on somebody, I hate for the betterment of them. Like, you mean, I'm always about <laughs> progression. Like, like, you dunking now, but like, like, get a post up, get this, add that to the game, add that Tim Duncan to your game. Like, I want everybody to, to, to try to be the best ever. I don't care how many MVPs you got. If I see you doing the same thing two, three years, man, come on, add something. Because when you start slowing down, you're going to need that new something. Mm-hmm. You're going to need that new something. If you don't get it, then you're going to go from like 22, 12, and then you out of the league. Nah, you're too great for that right now. Now, I need you to hold on 20, 23 years, man. Beat the Kareems and fuck them. <laughs> fuck them old people over there, man. It's the new 
Like, we got to let them know them, them stats. Fuck all them stats. We need them all. John Stockton stats, man. Listen, people all, people say that John Stockton stats is going to last forever. No, the fuck they ain't. No, I don't know about that one. You know why? Yeah, tell you got to tell I don't think nobody come to Johnny's stats. What does he have, 16,000 assists or something like that? And steals. Yeah, 15 something. Here, here's why. The rule back then was you pass it, they catch and shoot. There was no dribbling and all the extra stuff, right? So it was, it was you pass, catch. So now we get movement for that assist. So in theory, someone can actually get more assist than him because they have more, they have more leverage. They have more wiggle room for some of those assists, right? It's, it's just... Like if he if he was playing that style today, to be honest, he'd be he'd be at about twenty two. If he was yeah. he was allowed to give it to me and I can bounce and do a step back shit. Oh, he got more assists. They wasn't they wasn't giving out assists like that. It had to be literally in in shot. Mm, it's so I'm crazy. Like, I'm like with the new ruling, impossible, man. And they go change rules again. You know how that shit go go. They might give him up for two dribbles. Yeah. <laughs> That shit, it, I mean, in the, I seen, I said, I seen, uh, uh, was it Zoe? Zoe passed to half court. Dude crossed the dude, behind the back, spent, then went in for the layup, assist. I'm like, ain't that a bit? <laughs> what? They're giving him away. <laughs> <laughs> They're giving away the assist. <laughs> Damn, bro. Well, no, we appreciate your time, baby. I appreciate your wisdom. Um, learned a ton. I honestly think uh, I think the world needed to see you more. That's my personal opinion. Um, I I ultimately respect what you did for the game. I've seen what you've done behind closed doors with the game, and it was some even better than even watching you play in the NBA. Just watching that one session, that one fucking Wednesday. And that gym with nobody in it was better than you watch, playing you, you know, watching you score 60 against somebody. Like, when it comes to scoring guards, I honestly think you don't want to change the game. I know I'm going to get a lot of bad shit from that, but that's what I personally think. I, back when a time when the three-point percentage wasn't as high as it is now, the attempts wasn't as high as it is now. You're talking about a, a player that played then that can play now still. Like, you're a player that can play and start now still. Like, you're... Like you talking about a, you talking about wrong. You talking about a, a game that, that 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 translates from the past and to the present and to the future. So like, gotta give you your flowers, bro. Ultimate, ultimate, ultimate. I don't ultimate. even know how I got away wow. with it though, because Iverson, right? Everybody would have thought Iverson did it, but Iverson they pushed him to the two. I don't know how they allowed. Like Iverson was a two, and then Mulberry was considered a ball hog, and he averaged more assists than me. Right, so he was like 19 and 8. I'm literally at 29 and 5. And they're like, yeah, go GA. <laughs> go GA, yeah. Like, I, it was it was just weird. It was just a weird thing that they just allowed. I just smooth sailing right through. One, because I didn't give a fuck either. They'd be like, hey, G- Gil, you ain't really pat, You ain't really look for your teammates tonight. Nope, not at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> we got the window, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> they wouldn't, you know what I mean? But I love where the game's going. Like, you know, I'm biased to scoring, right? But like, I, I hate doing, I hate doing top five point guards because I still have to have a respect for, you know, the, the older guys who were forced to just pass. And then with the new mm-hmm. generation, mm-hmm. like, so it's like, Y'all have to give us three categories. It has to be pure points, and then the point guards, and then the shooting guards, right? You know, the point guards, that's the, the, the Stephs, the AIs, right? The me, the, um, the Kyries, the Dane. You know, that's a whole other type of guard. It's hard. Right. You put us against their stats, we're blowing them out because we're going to have just as many assists, but our points is going to be each. Right. Agree. You know what I mean? So, have those. Yeah. And then you got yeah, then you got the guys who who's sitting there running teams. You can't com- compare me to a guy who's running this team. Right. That's two different, you know. That's why I understood what the Chris Paul, like he's a team runner, right? So I understood, you know what I mean? Like, you know, and me and me and me and uh Chris used to work out together. 
So when he was coming into the draft, that was the, I was working out with him to get him adjusted. Mm. I didn't even wait. We hey, game one busting your ass, boy. <laughs> no, because he was fucking me up in ones, right? You know, you know how you come in and get you out of shape. You know, like they they in shape right now, getting ready for the draft, and then they catch or they're catching me right before the draft and bust right, right off vacay. I <laughs> started again, man. No, one more, man. One more, man. No, I'm not letting this little motherfucker be. One more, man. One more. It was to the point like, come on, man, I gotta go. Like, ah, you know what? Game one, bro. Game one. Don't you, don't you play. <laughs> don't you. <laughs> 43. <laughs> I'll give all 40s. You ask Chris Paul, who's his hardest matchup? Me. He said, I was giving all 40s. He, listen, he made, listen, the way, it's like I personally gave him confidence. The way he, like, listen, he ragdogged me in those ones. Mm. I wasn't in shape, you know what I mean? Just made my first All Star. You know what I mean? He ah. got, a, got, a rookie, got a rookie coming in. I couldn't wait. I watched the draft just where he got uh, sh- got Charlotte, motherfucker. Yeah, there you go, Chris. <laughs> hey, coach, when our, when our schedule coming out? <laughs> just to give Chris Paul That's that work. Just to give Chris Paul that work every game, bro. Yeah, and then when he wasn't on the court, oh, more. I'm gonna let you know what you supposed to have had the night. <laughs> now he's a wizard, bro. Now you have to, you know, you have to look out for him as part of that that wizard community, that wizarding yeah. world. And I love. I, mean, I don't I, think he, gonna, he ain't gonna be that no time. So he ain't gonna be that long. <laughs> yeah, no way. Uh, no, he's out of there. <laughs> he ain't gonna be that long. No. CP needs a championship, man. I'm rooting for CP. I bet, man. I, man, I'd be wishing everybody can win one, man. Bro. Like I, it, it's 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 one. I'm one of those type of dudes, man. That man. You know, 10 years putting you and I watch how you have to go through different teams and, you know, you put your heart into it. And I'm like, man, I wish everybody can be celebrated. You know, I and I'm just one of those dudes like everybody need a championship. <laughs> Real. Everybody, boy, man. <laughs> everybody get a ring. <laughs> Oprah over here. Dude, well, we're definitely going to be rooting for you. Gilbert Arenas, definitely listen to him whenever he's broadcasting. Follow him on all of his socials. And we really appreciate you coming on here. We appreciate your time. Wow, thank you for having me, man. You already know. Yeah, thanks, gang. Always, bro. Hey, have, hey, have fun up in the London, man. Yes. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me show y'all. Let me hold on. I can't. I don't know how to turn this motherfucker around. Yeah, I don't know how to do it. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> have uh, me some British tea, man. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate it.